Hello, this is about um, <clears throat> taking uh, a Google Sheet, <clears throat> typically one that I sent out, and I always send them out as a view only, which means that you can't edit it. However, if you copy the spreadsheet, uh, just you know, highlight everything, control all, and then copy it and paste it into your own Google Sheet, then all the formula are available to you. Anyway, that's important to remember, but in this occasion, I'm going to look at one of the <coughs> um, spreadsheets I did last month for Steve Goss Picks, and I'm going to put in, this is for August last month, and I'm in September now, I'm going to put them into a September one. And what I've done already is I've copied the top three lines here. Well, there's a comment there, but uh, anyway, so one rows one two three onto this one which I've already dated 19th and 9th was yesterday the date of our meeting so I've already put those in and then Steve kindly sent me um, a list of this month's and I've copied that and pasted that list in and you have to put LON colon in front of everything so I didn't do it for the last one which as it happens is a US stock so I don't need to I just realized that I think the rest are UK stocks because when you export them out of sharepad all you get is the um, is the code but with as you probably know with Google for um, UK London shares you have to put LON uh, colon and then the uh, ticker number there now this the thing now to do is to copy all these lines here although this one here closing price I've already put 19th of the 9th in will not be valid and um, but I think it makes it easy if I just copy all that lot there and um, just drag it down. Now I can't see the rest of it, can I? But if I drag it down to there, probably gone too far. And these puts in everything. The only thing that's wrong, of course, um, is I don't want these last three. Let's delete all those because uh, I went too far because I couldn't see the left hand side of it. Um, so delete rows, rows. Uh, oh, I need to delete this one as well, don't I? Okay. Now, so what it's done is copied all these things. Um, I can make those a bit smaller, can't I? For some reason, it doesn't like uh, BP. Strange. Um, That's, and that one there is a US stock, so I better take the a swabs, isn't it? So uh, I better take the London thing off. See if that works now. Yep, loading, brilliant. Um, Harry Burton is a US stock, isn't it? So we better take that off there as well. I've I've put up here UK stocks, but I mean obviously. Uh, this is wrong. Um, and there's Walt Disney, yeah, so everything's fine. The only thing is, the closing price is it's just copied from that this top one, which is from last month's list. I can delete that in a minute. Um, but what I want to do is I'll have to go and find out all the closing prices for yesterday, because the day is the 20th and the meeting was yesterday, 19th. So, um, I won't do that. What I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll just copy them as they are. Why is BP not working? I think there's a dot there, isn't there? Does it need a dot? No, it doesn't need a dot. All oh, right, okay. So now all I gotta do is say, on here, I wanna say equals, was equals, um, to the price now. And then copy that down 
to all the rest. And let's just see something magical happen. We have. Brilliant. So, that is basically it, isn't it? I've actually copied everything. Oh, except the M ones, have I? I didn't. Oh, no, they're already done. They're, they're all 52 weeks stuff. And um, now I can delete this row, can't I? Because we don't want last month's on there. Delete row. And apart from putting all the shares together, I'll, I'll, I can move this um, swab down to here and Halliburton. And I'll move that one down there. Because now I can say this is US stocks from here on, isn't it? If I could spell. So there you go. Um, now this has worked out perfectly, isn't it? You got um, what? I'm recording something, Claire. What have we got here is um, the quantity, and if I look into that, is uh, yeah, there'd be a bit of a fiddle to do here because this one is um, is worked out the UK. How many? Um, stock we buy for um, for a thousand pounds and yeah this is 52 pounds so you only get 19 of those for a thousand pounds that's 243 now where we go wrong is with these ones over here because um, because we deal in pence and the US is in dollars this has got to be changed from instead of this what's that a hundred thousand, um, hundred pence and a pound. So yeah, a thousand pounds is a hundred times that. So yeah, but this one we just need to change that, take the zeros off. Otherwise we get our calculation. Wrong. So uh, it's got to be a thousand there, and then copy it for these other US stocks, and just get rid of that one. So there you have it. I've I've created another spreadsheet using all the same headings as I did before and all I had to do was drag down and copy. I hope you enjoyed that and I'm going to end this uh, presentation now. Thank you very much.